In this proof we're going to look at figuring out the total resistance for three resistors connected in parallel. The formula for this is the total resistance in this case is again the letter R and our three resistors are R1, R2 and R3 and that's the resistance value across each. The formula is 1 over the total resistance, so 1 over R, is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. If we look at the diagram, we can see that we have a current flowing into the junction called I. And we're going to use the fact that the current flowing in has to equal to the three currents that are flowing out of that junction, which is I1, I2 and I3. So we begin our proof by writing down that the current flowing in I is equal to the three currents flowing out of that junction I1 plus I2 plus I3. In each case here, uh, we still have Ohm's law working, and if we want to change the uh, currents, the I's, into voltages and resistance, we remember that the current is just the voltage divided by resistance. So we can change this equation that we're after writing. The first I will just be the total voltage divided by the total resistance, equal to the voltage drop across each of the three resistors. So that will be... Uh, the same value across each of them because for resistors in parallel we have uh, the same voltage drop across all three so it is still the letter V for each however the resistances are going to be R1, R2 and R3 so instead of I1 we're going to have the voltage divided by R1 plus voltage divided by R2 plus voltage divided by R3 if we look at what we've got in our equation, we have a common factor on the right-hand side, which is just the voltage. So we have V over R still on the left-hand side. Factorise out the voltage on the right-hand side of the equation, and inside the bracket, once we take the voltage outside, that will leave us with 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. The last thing that we can see is we can factorize, uh, or sorry, cancel off the voltage on each side. So V divided into itself on both sides will leave us with a 1 over R on the right hand side. And this will basically give us our equation that we had at the beginning. So the total resistance 1 over R is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And that's our equation proven.